gentlemen. May I have your attention, please? The show starts in three, two, one, go! Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you all doing? Hope you guys like it. If today is the first time you'll see my beautiful face, you are welcome. I'm Richie. I'm a Nigerian YouTuber based in Germany. This channel, I talk about family, marriage, society, parenting, and many more things to all of you. This video, I'll be reacting to Rebe Funke Adejumo's statement. So, Rebe Funke Adejumo, she's a pastor who talks about, in fact, she preaches so many things. And sometimes people are... Uh, against her sometimes people agree with her even me sometimes i disagree with her for this particular one let's see how it goes so read one of her preachings she said i read one of her preachings she said wives listen wives stop celebrating your husband's failure is it because people are not telling their own stories do you know what people are going through cover your husband's nakedness there is no perfect husband anywhere. <laughs> On this particular one, I totally agree with the pastor. I totally agree with her. Wives, learn to cover your husband's nakedness. When we talk about nakedness, we are not talking about he's not very good, you have to cover him. No. When we talk about nakedness, we are not talking about um, he doesn't have bosses, he's going outside without his bosses to cover him. That is not what we're talking about. We're talking about, we're saying that there is more to being a wife than just making babies, giving birth. No, there is more to being a wife than just cooking and cleaning the house. No, there is more to being a wife than just washing his clothes. It is your responsibility to cover him. Do not speak ill of your husband to outsiders. Do not speak ill about your husband to your family. Not every little thing. You start calling family, you start calling friends, start calling people, no matter how close you are, with them you have to learn to cover your husband's nakedness this is what she is trying to say for people most people disagree with her they were like beating back and front what listen is a truth lots of women every little mistake their husband does they just carry phone and start calling their family members start calling their friends let me tell you something a lot of women were busy saying eh, what if is this should we not keep quiet should we not talk auntie when it comes to violence before I continue, please, when it is about violence, do not cover him up. When it's about violence of any kind, when it's about abuse of any kind, sexual abuse for your children, mates, or anyone, do not cover him up. When it's about threat of life, of your own life or to others, do not cover him up. That is not the kind of covering we are talking about. We advise people to speak up when it comes to threat of life. We advise people to speak up. When your husband is doing something bad, call him to order or find someone find that one person that he listens to he can be a trusted man or woman of god or a trusted a trusted religious counselor or if trusted but let it be a trusted person not just any person you just see no matter how close you are to this person do not do not it is not right for you to start calling people and start telling them about your husband you're speaking ill about your husband so let me tell you when you do this when your husband later changed from that thing you're complaining about, when he changed, those people that you've complained him to will not forget. They will even once he passed, they will, they, will do, they will just raise their nose behind him. They will disrespect your husband behind you and in your presence and you can't do anything because you gave them that path to follow. No human being is perfect. We are all working into perfection. No marriage is perfect. We are all making our marriages to be comfortable for us. We are all building our marriages in a way that it will be comfortable for us. So stop looking at other people's marriage. Stop looking at what social media is telling you. Build your own marriage in the way that it will be comfortable for you. Stop following what is happening on social media. Social media, you all know that social media is not real. It's not real. The life of social media is full of fake. Fakeness everywhere. So beware. Choose your path. It is the responsibility for us as husband and wife to cover each other's nakedness. Do not report your husband to someone who cannot solve the problem. I laugh when some women will open their mouth during the day and talk so many things, talk ill about the man. But during the night, they will go and collect one or two rounds and the man will enjoy himself. Who are you deceiving? 
there are some people you talk to, they will take the issue to another person. Don't forget that your best friend also has a best friend and that best friend also has a best friend. So this issue will be circulating. Wives, be careful. If your husband doesn't have work yet, do not narrate him. If your family drinks Gary every blessed day, do not narrate your family. There are some wives that if their husband opened their mouth to tell you the things that their wives do, eh, you will be shocked. The reason why women, we hear women's voice so loud is because women are emotional beings. Once they speak, people will listen to them, people will feel pity for them. But men, men do not talk too much. Instead, they absorb their feeling. They keep quiet. They, they just take so many things that the wives do. They just take it. But once a man does something, you see their wife will start narrating. They start calling them out, start saying many things, disgracing them on social media, start writing also many things, using it to distract a peaceful home. Making it look like marriage is a bad thing. Making it look like marriage is the worst thing that will ever happen to somebody. So women do not listen. They do not listen to absorb. They just talk. Many of them did not even listen. Many of them did not even analyze what the lady was saying. They just carried the matter. If you started saying, eh, what if it's abusive? Auntie, if it's abusive, that one is go. They are not keeping you there. Nobody tie your leg. It is your decision to make. But do not start narrating him because he doesn't have a job. Do not start narrating him because he, 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 he doesn't. I don't even know many things that women will just come up and start saying that their husband doesn't do. Their husband is not good at bed. Their husband is not, it's not like this. Their husband is not like that. And they start complaining. That is what we are talking about. It's not about violence. It's not about any other thing. A word is enough for the wise. Your marriage lies in your hands. The Bible has already said that a virtuous woman builds her home while the foolish one destroys it with her own hands. Choose the one you will be today if it's a virtuous woman or the foolish woman. Wives, you are a kingmaker. You are the crown to your husband's head. Stop disrespecting him by reporting him to anyone, anyone that has me yet. Stop disrespecting your husband. Build your marriage. Make it comfortable for you, you, you personally. Think of what you want your marriage to be. Think of what you want your children to grow to see. Live what is happening on social media. The key to a successful marriage is talk less, listen more for both men and women. It is right for you to disagree. It is normal for every couple to disagree. But at the end of the day, you disagree to agree. I rest my case. See you all in my next videos and bye for now.